Here are the fastest growing AI startups and what they have in common. Welcome back to Exploding Topics. Today, we're gonna to take a look at three under the radar trending startups. And we're also gonna take a data-driven look at why they're trending, why they're succeeding so much right now, and what you need to do to have that kind of success with your startup in 2025. My real goal here is to give you an idea of what's working right now in the landscape so you can make changes to your own business, or if you're looking at launching or bootstrapping an AI startup in 2025, here are some tips on what to do right. With that, let's dive in. This first startup has 8,800% growth in the past 12 months, with, I might add, a search volume still under 30K. Let's take a look at Abacus AI. Imagine that your company has unlimited access to AI chatbots that know everything about your company. And you can use these chatbots to complete tasks or break down complex information in a simple way. Abacus AI takes all your favorite LLMs like GPT, Sonnet, Llama, and Gemini, and basically makes them your company employees with all the knowledge that they need to help you do your job more efficiently. The platform mainly targets enterprises and developers who are looking to integrate AI tools into their products and services in the most efficient way possible. So this all makes it super easy to use AI to ask questions like, visualize our on-time versus late deliveries by state, or give me a summary of our earnings report. In my opinion, this should be standard practice at every company in 2025. I mean, think about it. You can ask your internal LLM anything about your company, policies, data, without having to sift through hundreds of SOPs or Google Docs. You can use these LLMs to understand complex documents, find external or internal info super quickly, analyze your data, help with the coding process, and create agents to automate tasks. Abacus even integrates with Slack and Teams so your internal AI employees are always available. Considering the firepower this gives your company, I would say it's reasonably priced at 10 bucks per user. And overall, people are citing its ease of use, how it helps them engage with customers, and how it helps to forecast revenue quickly. They've already raised over $90 million as of their Series C round, but I have a feeling this is just the beginning, so definitely keep an eye on this startup. 1,567% growth in the past two years. That is Fathom AI. Fathom is an AI note taker and actually won second place on Product Hunt's AI product of the year. It's designed to streamline the process of recording, transcribing, and summarizing video calls. Now, there are a lot of AI meeting assistants popping up right now, so why is Fathom unique? First, speed. Unlike its competitors, Fathom AI summaries are ready just 30 seconds after the meeting ends. There can be so many topics and tangents in a meeting that summarization in a clear and accurate way is crucial. With Fathom, you can select different templates for different areas of your business, like sales, operations, marketing, etc. As somebody who learns more by watching than reading, I love this feature where you can send specific clips of the meeting to people on Slack. Overall, AI note takers are blowing up right now, and I've actually covered a few of them in previous videos. If you're interested in this niche, you should also make sure to check out MeetGeek, SpeakAI, Otter AI, and Avoma. Given the explosive growth these platforms have seen, and all the recognition that Fathom has garnered among them, I would definitely check this one out first. As of their seed round, they've already raised almost $7 million. Given their low search volume and high growth, I would say this one is definitely set to take off in 2025. Here is a New York-based startup with 2,500% growth in the past year alone. Let's talk about Elise AI. It's an AI-based CRM platform targeted at property management companies. Using this system, your company is always reachable. You you can use Elise AI to answer calls, but you can also use it to reach out via text, chat, or email. It is an all-in-one platform where you can keep your prospect and resident info, your leasing and resident reporting, and operations. For example, you can respond instantly to inquiries at any time, qualify leads automatically, schedule property tours efficiently, and handle routine resident requests like maintenance. By automating routine tasks, Elise AI saves property management teams loads of time and money on administrative tasks. This means they can focus much more on high-value in-person interactions and manage operations even when there's a staff shortage. Within this tool, there are way too many features to go over in this section of the video, so I'll let you take care of that. Elise AI has already raised almost $70 million as of their Series C round. So, what do all these trending startups have in common? 
First and foremost, they operate on a B2B SaaS model. For those who don't know, SaaS is software as a service. So they're selling a software platform to other businesses. Second, and super important, they all contain automations that help you optimize communication within your business. Abacus helps you automatically update your team using different integrations, like automatically sending out revenue forecasting numbers based on current data. They've also got a 24 seven customer service chatbot. Fathom can automatically send updates straight to your team or share docs to keep everybody synced up and on the same page. Elise AI can automatically chat with prospects to schedule tours and remind prospects about appointments. It can communicate by voice, text, email, and chat. So yeah, one of the biggest value points they're all providing is that they are optimizing communication within teams as well as with customers. This next commonality may seem obvious, but it is an important one, which is that they're all enterprise solutions. All three companies have developed scalable AI tech that helps solve problems for growing enterprises. Abacus AI has a whole suite of tools specifically aimed at enterprise clients. You you can create custom AI chatbots based on enterprise roles and permissions and generate documents for insurance, legal, finance, healthcare. Basically, they're making sure that anybody in the enterprise, no matter what their role is, is able to use this tool to increase efficiency. Elise AI specializes in AI powered virtual assistants for property management, handling tasks like maintenance requests and payment reminders. Yes, they're great for small firms, but they're also really helpful for large companies that are managing dozens of properties. Their CRM creates one cohesive hub using all of this prospect and resident information so every single person in the company can get value from using this tool. Fathom, being an AI note taker, is like the personal assistant for anybody in a growing company, helping to transcribe, highlight, or summarize meetings. They've got a team edition specifically geared towards enterprise, and it can also help accelerate training for new employees. It features a library so specific teams can keep track of important moments from different meetings, and it has features specifically for the handoff of clients from sales to customer support. So to recap, if you're looking to bootstrap your own AI startup in 2025, you should take a look at the B2B SaaS space, make sure your tool helps facilitate clear communication across teams, and create a tool that's scalable and valuable to enterprises. Of course, easier said than done, but in future videos, I will continue to break down what successful AI startups have in common so you can leverage this information to get the most out of your business. Speaking of, if you have any specific topics, trending startups that you would like analyzed, drop them in the comments and I'll make a video just for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.